Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, we're here to review this, the Yes View cover for the Samsung Galaxy S4. So let's check it out. So obviously you can see there what you can do with it, you know, the stuff on the bar, blah, blah, blah. But let's be honest, we're to actually see the actual kit, cover itself, case of whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you the differences between the new back cover and the original back cover that you do get. So obviously to pop off your back cover, relatively straightforward, just kind of pop it off, off she comes. As we all know, this is a very flimsy kind of, just very, it feels like a very cheap kind of plastic. What you'll find weird or strange or just different is that on this one it's a lot thicker. Now yes, you can still bend it, it's still plastic, but the actual plastic used is a lot thicker. And you can kind of just see the difference between them there. You see that it's got like a little bit of the, um, kind of sticks out a little bit for the camera. This one is completely flush, you can probably see it better just about there. Same for the LED, the LED itself actually is actually recessed in there. On here it comes up straight up to it, so you can probably see the difference in the plastics. Right, easiest way is to kind of pop it there, push it down, job done. Now as you'll probably see there now, I've shown you the back of the S4 previously, and you see the LED, that's how much thicker the actual plastic is. Now obviously around the, all the edges, they're all pretty much as you would expect. You can't access the volume up and down. I suppose if you pushed hard enough, you may be able to. Um, I asked in a previous video, why would you want to do that? And somebody said you may want to put your music up or down. Um, and yeah, I didn't really think of that until somebody said that. But I use inline remote for my headphones, so it's not much use to me. But what we're going to show you now is obviously turning the screen on and turning it off, and you get a nice little window. So we're going to show you how you can actually utilize this window, basically receiving and rejecting calls. So let's have a quick look at that one right about now. Right, so I'm attempting to actually call this phone through another device, so hopefully if it wants to, uh, there we go. So as you can see there, it's got my name and a telephone number. Now obviously I'll blur that out for the purpose of this video. If you want to now, you can either answer or reject it. So if I want to answer the call, you basically got to tap on it, pull it across, you get a little vibration and job done, you're now in there. Um, and if you want to put the phone down, basically tap it, pull it across and the phone goes down. That's it, it is that simple how to use it. And that's the only real functionality of this window you can actually do with regards to touching it. Now you'd think if you get a text message it'd pop up, you'd be able to kind of like maybe read it properly. Unfortunately not. I'm going to send a text message from my uh, one of my other devices as well now and hopefully you'll see what it does look like. Right, so the text message has been sent so hopefully it's going to pop through and that's it, that's all you get is that there and after about a couple of seconds it goes off. Now what I would like is maybe if you tap a little uh, button there, let's turn the screen back on. If you tap a little button there, maybe it brings up the message, the hole there, and you can either mark it as red or you can delete it. It's very limited in terms of what you can do with the window. So all you can really do is answer and reject calls. So yeah, it, it's a bit annoying that that's all you can do, but nonetheless, it is cool that they've kind of thought about that. Obviously taking kind of like the design cues in terms of turning it on and off from Apple, which is all nice and dandy to me. But yeah, that's pretty much all you can do with it. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool idea but it's just limited in terms of the functionality, just answering and rejecting calls. I'd like a bit more personally, May again, maybe they can update it in some kind of a firmware update for the actual phone so it can do some more. One quick thing I forgot to note is that a lot of people had issues with regards to their kind of like case not closing properly. Now, as you can probably see, when I base it out of mine to there, it completely closes, and you know it closed properly. I can't show you, because when you do kind of turn it like sideways, it kind of flap, you know, kind of just start flapping open. But you can kind of tell on mine is that when you drop it, it does completely close and obviously the screen goes off to the little S view thing. So yeah, I've not had that issue on mine. So yeah, thought I'd put that in there for you. But I will leave you one little thought in your head. If you've seen the movie Wally -E, or Wally, -E, however you want to say it, obviously there's Wally -E and there's that other little kind of little white Android bot. Got to think, does that not just look just like it? I think it does. So yeah, that's going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the day if you've watched seen that movie. I don't know what it's called. If you know what the uh, the Android bot is, leave a comment down below. If you've got any questions, leave those comments down below. If you do like the video, please do hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. Anyway, people, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.